Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a brand new fall Shein haul for you guys. I ordered several items out of the fall 2020 launch and we're gonna try them on, talk about them, and you can decide whether it's something that you would like to order. So without further delay, let's get started. The first item, I was gonna pause. The first item that I ordered, I'm actually gonna show two things because um, I'm going to try them on together. I ordered this tea. I have been I have been seeing it quite a bit on there since I first started looking on Shein. Um, it's just the shirt that says mama needs coffee. I got it in the navy blue color and then I got it possibly pair it with this. It could go over anything this and I love it it's so cute this gray like really big yarn cardigan and what I really like about it is how chunky the knit is on like the entire thing and the buttons aren't I don't know what they're made of but they're not perfectly just white plastic round buttons they're kind of just have their own little unique shape to them and it's very, very soft, and I just think it's really, really cute. And I think it's so cute with just like a t-shirt and jeans and tennis shoes. The t-shirt, it was a 4XL. Sometimes I order 3X, sometimes I order the 4X. Um, kind of just depends on um, like the polyester, if it's polyester or cotton, and, and like how much spandex is in it. This is the first one that I got that was actually like really tight on me. Um, it doesn't have a whole lot of stretch and then kind of where it says coffee kind of lands in the wrong place with my chest you can't really see it a whole lot um, so that is a no for me however the cardigan I absolutely love it I will wear it with probably just a cami because I get warm um, you could wear it with any kind of cami really any color because gray is so versatile and I just, I love it. It's comfy, cozy. It's like wrapping yourself in a blanket. And so the cardigan is a complete two thumbs up. Heck yes for me. <laughs> okay, so moving on. The next item that I got. Um, this it looked really cute in the photo. But, and it actually, I think, we'll see what you guys think. I think it looks really cute on. Um, I'm just getting used to the whole high-low kind of vibe that's going on. Um, I do like that it is lightweight, but yet, you know, actual, like, plaid. It is true to color, so it is the burgundy and, like, a navy with the white. Um, so that's nice. The quality, it seems really nice. Now, as far as the fit goes, um, I like the length in the front. I like that even with my very long torso, that it goes all the way down and covers my stomach, which is my biggest insecurity area or problem area. Um, however, when I turn to the side, the back, I know this is what it's supposed to look like. And so I said maybe I just need to get used to this kind of style. Um, but it is really, really longer in the back. It's it's almost like a dress in the back. Um, so I think this would be best paired, almost too chunky with jeans. Um, definitely, this is something I would have to wear with leggings. Now, these leggings that you see <laughs> me wearing this with are also from Shein. This is my second attempt at um, like biker shorts or leggings from Shein. And again, I felt they felt pretty short. Um, they do fit, I ordered a 3X in the leggings. Um, but they're not, I thought they would be, you know, that soft brushed like legging material. But again, it feels more like a swimsuit and they fit how they should just about everywhere except for on the bottom like mid cap, you know, where they end by my ankle. They 
are kind of loose and so it doesn't give that all together like cute top with leggings look it looks like I'm just wearing some kind of crazy pants <laughs> with a shirt so I'm definitely going to have to find um, another pair of leggings that I can wear with these um, but I think the shirt is cute and I'm willing to kind of get out of my comfort zone and give it a try um, so yeah, I think that that one is adorable. I'm gonna keep those leggings on to try on with this next shirt. Even though I wouldn't wear them together, it's just easier, so that's what's on the bottom here. This is the top. I ordered, it's just um, in a 3XL, just a plain, regular hem, um, button up and down flannel. Because flannel seems to be everywhere, kind of for fall. I do like the blue color. I think that it's really vibrant and pretty. It is true flannel material. Um, so it'll be nice and toasty warm for those really cold days. Um, I don't know if I said it. I think I did. That I got a 3X in this. And this is still really big. Um, it doesn't, obviously, in the try you can see, it doesn't give much of a shape to my body, so it's not super body flattering, um, but I mean, I don't know how flattering you can get with a big flannel, and it's kind of serving its purpose, it is what it is, and it's comfortable, and I love the color, so I feel like this was definitely a win for me. So, next up, oops, hold on, I gotta keep my bag straight, you know how I told you guys, if you don't keep your bag straight and you want to do a return, good luck trying to figure out which bag goes to which item, right? So, next in the box. Oh, yes, 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 okay, so, ah, I don't know what my problem is lately, I usually have not this much, but, so, this is super cute, you guys. So if you can see the whole link. So this is, I thought, was going to be a thicker material, but it is um, like a plaid kind of sweater. I think they described it as a sweater dress. Um, I'm totally okay with the fact that it is not thick sweater material because, like I said, I am either always hot or always cold. And so, you know, thinking I'm probably going to wear this in the fall when it's a little more chilly, probably already have leggings on you know it'll probably be raining here where I live so I'll be wearing some sort of a jacket so I am happy that this is a lighter weight material it is not so light that it is see-through so I can appreciate that um, it has the plaid body and then the saw <laughs> no full-length black sleeve the sleeve isn't too baggy which is nice I know that let me see if I can get this down to show you. I know that, you know, the little flowy sleeves are really kind of in right now, but they're not super practical, especially if you have to, you know, work or take care of kids or anything like that. So I love this. I think this is super cute. Um, and, you know, if you have like a bigger tummy area, you could always wear it with some sort of like a Spanx or something like that if that you know that makes you uncomfortable um, overall I feel this is super cute I think the length is spot on you know you're not gonna bend over and show anything even if you decided to wear this without leggings and just like do people wear pantyhose anymore I don't know if you want to wear it you know plain legged or with a pantyhose or just tights instead of leggings that would totally work too with like a cute boot I think that would be really really nice so there is that one all right next item okay so i was watching a bunch of hauls and i noticed i haven't seen a whole lot of jumpers and i'm not personally i don't really have good luck with jumpers because like i've said before i have a very long torso and usually they are not made for people with body types like mine. 
Um, usually I try to put it on and I can't get them over the shoulder or they're going completely up my rear end and they're just not comfortable. Um, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to order one just for a haul and see what happens. And you guys, I was pleasantly surprised. So I know you can't see the entire thing, so I'm just going to pop a picture up here for these. This is... Uh, uh, I don't know, like <laughs> kind of mid-calf jumper with the black polka dots. It is um, made of like a rayon type material, so it's very thin. Um, but, I mean, unless you had some bright lights coming through, it is not see-through at all. It comes high up enough that you can wear a regular bra with this, no problem, and not have you know, a lot of like strap hanging out or anything like that. It is long enough to allow me to move with it on without it going up my butt or like tearing in half. So that's nice. Um, I love how it has this roushing here, uh, and, like around the waist area. Um, I think that's nice. It allows for, you know, if you have a larger tummy or just for movement in general, like that's nice. If that wasn't there, I don't think that I would like this garment as much or be able to use it. Um, so it's funny because I totally thought I was going to hate this and it's actually one of my favorite things in this haul. Um, I got this in a size 4XL. Okay, so this next item, honestly you guys, I was kind of disappointed in this. So the picture, it looks like it was a full length sweater to me, or at least if it wasn't full length, that it was at least going to kind of go like mid-tummy area, um, and it's clearly more of a kind of crop length. It's also much thinner than I had hoped it was going to be. Um, and it's that kind of icky feeling sweater material, like it's not really warm, it's more annoying, kind of scratchy, itchy. Um, the ties on it are just kind of thin, you can see through it. Again, I get really warm. If I'm wearing a full on sweater, I do not want to have to wear something underneath it. Um, you know, the sweater's like enough for me. So yeah, this... I was just super disappointed and the collar is so thin it doesn't want to like lay right I just kept having to mess with it um it also you know shows more of my tummy than I wanted to because I thought maybe I could wear this with you know a legging and a pair of boots I have that are this color but that's just this is not gonna happen for me so I don't want to spend too much time on this this was a no if you like the crop style if you like to wear something you know, underneath, then, I mean, it's cute. The The detailings there are super cute. This was just a no-go for me. The box is getting emptier, so it's like a longer reach each time, you know? This shirt. Okay, guys, so if you watch my hauls, you can tell I have kind of like um, a favorite of style of shirt. It seems to be kind of like the baseball tees that either has a print here and a solid sleeve or a print sleeve and a solid here. Um, I just gravitate towards comfort. I'm a big comfort girl and I had been wanting to get, I would ordered previously a dress and a blouse with this material and neither one of them worked. Um, and so I seen this and so I had to order it. It's just got the pocket on the front and the print, zebra print sleeves, not zebra. That is not a zebra crystal. <laughs> As a leopard, I think. A white leopard? I don't know. So, yeah, the leopard print sleeve on that. Um, okay, so my thoughts. This is super comfortable. It's a little... Let's see what size did I get. I did get a 3XL in this. Um, just reading the measurements because I didn't want it to be too baggy because it just doesn't look good in this style of shirt. Um, I think the fit is really nice. I'm not sure that I love the pocket on the front. Also, I wish the length was just a little bit longer on this one. Also, it's just a little weird for me, uh, the difference in fabric. So having kind of like the jersey knit 
fabric here and then the almost um, like see-through non-stretch material over here it just kind of feels weird on my body um, it's a shame too because it's cute but then also I don't need to keep this because I have like five different shirts that are set up almost the exact same way that I like much better so although this is cute um, for me this one is gonna be going that oh my gosh only two more things so hang in there with me okay so this one I absolutely love this was again let's see if we can get this right this is the leopard print this is the brown, but this is not, uh, this is the stretchy kind. It's not the see-through. It's very opaque. Um, the whole thing is a sweatshirt. Material has like the leopard trim around the neck and on the sleeves and on the bottom kind of like waistband of the sweatshirt. So it looks like a two-in-one shirt. Um, it's it's heavier weight than most of their t-shirts, but it's not quite full on sweatshirt. Um, the weight kind of reminds me of my light pink tie-dye from my last Shein haul that I loved so much. Um, it's just as comfortable. I think the fit on this one is absolutely great. Uh, the length is perfect. It goes right where I want it to as far as um, be like below my stomach, but not so long that it looks like a dress. I love the leopard. I is growing on me. I am not a huge animal. I'm so warm, you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not a huge animal print fan. However, it doesn't seem to be going away, and I feel like this is a way I can incorporate a little bit of it into my wardrobe without um, <laughs> full on looking like a a leopard myself. So. I think this is really nice. The quality is great. I did get this in a 3XL. So the last item in the box. Oh yeah, I shouldn't have ended this video on a loser. So, okay, was not super thrilled with this. First of all, it is sweatshirt material, or it has the weight of a sweatshirt, okay? Um, it's another one of those two-in-one style shirts with the pocket and then the bottom hem is like this um it is true flannel at the bottom as well as in like the pocket um the sweatshirt part of it is very very heavy um the outside is smooth almost like a bathing suit but it's thick and then it's almost like I don't know, like brushed fleece, like whatever's inside here is the warmest, warmest material I've ever had. Like I put it on in the morning when my room was cold and I was like, no, like this is not, it felt so heavy and just, and it didn't, I mean, it wasn't tight or anything like that. It just, it just didn't feel right. <laughs> it's just not for me. Um, I on the site when I seen the picture I thought it was a T like a two-in-one t-shirt um, I guess I'll read closer next time I just seen it and impulsively thought oh my gosh that's so cute and put it in my cart and here we are that was everything that I had in this Shein haul um, my neighbors are like I don't know what weed eating or something so I apologize um, Oh, look, they turned it off for me. Okay. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. I put a lot of work into this channel for you, and I would love it if you were part of our community here. Um, we are doing a giveaway. We're getting so close to 150, but our giveaway is at 200 subscribers. So when we get to 200, I have a great big, nice prize package. I will draw from my subscribers, obviously. So if you can leave some sort of a comment um, so that I know that you are here and you can be included in the giveaway. Um, if you haven't already, please hit the like button on this video. That lets YouTube know that you're enjoying my content and it gets me out there exposure to more people. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and thank you for stopping in and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. And then they stop. Nice.